Hi crafters, it's Karen and I'm recording this process video. As you can see, I'm uh, um, scrapping this sweet little picture of my grandson Max. It's my son Spencer's son and I'm using the Hello Love collection by Crate Paper. So um, this isn't necessarily a Valentine's picture. I mean, he's only like 18 months old, so it can't really be a Valentine's picture. It was taken around Christmas time. That's why he's wearing the little red outfit. But I thought it would be very sweet to work with this Hello Love collection with that particular picture. I just love his smile and his eyes are smiling and it's just a cute picture of him. So um, I th wanted to use black cardstock as my background for this. I just thought it, it would work well because, you know, this is a little boy. It's a little boy layout, but I wanted to use, you know, those Valentine type colors. So I thought rather than bringing in any kind of pink and white and all that, um, the better combina color combo was for the black and red for a little boy. So, um, and these are, I'm using a lot of scraps that I had left over. I had created a uh, few cards, so I'm using up the rest of the papers that I pulled for those cards. So the, um, the sketch or whatever the layout of this particular layout is one that I use quite often um, with a large piece um, in the uh, pattern paper in the middle and then accent papers um, on the top and bottom. And those little foxes there, those are so cute. Wait till you see. I used the uh, Paper Studios Fox Punch from Hobby Lobby. And they are adorable. They just come out adorable. And there's so many different things. The more I play with them, the more I realize there's a lot of different things you can do with them. So um, I do use them in this layout. Now, uh, as you can see, I, I am using that marbled effect type uh, paper. It has the pink in it, but it also has some black in it, which is what I want to accent. So I'm using my Black Soot Distress Ink from Tim Holtz, and I'm going over the edges. I'm also going, went over the edges of the other layered uh, paper underneath. Um, you know, and that just brings out definition from the, of the different layers, so that each layer um, stands out on its own, so to speak, and doesn't melt into the next layer, especially when you're you're using pattern upon pattern. <clears throat> this is an old steel ruler that I've had for the longest time. I can't remember where I, I purchased it, but it's a, a ruler that you could use for tearing. Um, and for me, it just makes it a lot easier when I want to use that tearing effect. Uh, the black doily is from Recollections. I had gotten a pack of those at some time or another within the past couple of years. So I knew that I wanted to use the black doily in the, in the background just to set off the layers, you know, to put a dark element underneath the layers without having to actually mat um, that little heart paper. So I'm trying to position it um, in kind of a random way. Do you see what I'm showing there with the the eight and a half by eleven paper with that pen, the that and that striped paper that I'm that I'm using right there. That's paper that I um, made myself. Like uh, my that pen is is a script pen that you can find at Hobby Lobby. I believe I forgot what you call it, but I believe it's what they you can use to uh, for Chinese writing. It's a, I believe, Chinese writing. Anyway, um, and it has a really nice brush tip, and it's India ink. So um, I'm, I've been trying to practice my script writing, but.
but uh, so far all I'm good at is drawing straight lines. <laughs> so I used it to create my own pattern paper, like with the black stripes. And I've been using scraps of it, you know, throughout my projects. And uh, I just, I just love black striped paper. I mean, white paper with black stripes. I've always liked that when collections come with it. So do you see how nice it looks layered with those other um, patterns? And um, I just love it. So I, I created my own, um, which was fun. And I've been practicing doodling, like making a pattern paper with doodle hearts on it and, and things like that. So, um, yeah. And I, I'm going to keep practicing script writing because it's awesome. It's just, you know, I'm not good at it. <laughs> you know, I, I really suck. I can't get the feel for it. And maybe it's because I'm, I'm left-handed that I'm having a hard time. But we'll see. I'm going to keep practicing. So I wanted to put the paper or the picture with um, those particular layers up on dimensionals to to kind of set it off a little bit so it sets higher than the other layers and um, and I think uh, these are cut aparts from the paper collection and this pink one that says lots of love um, I really thought I was going to use this on the layout because um, in my mind, I was thinking, you know, I send lots of love to my grandson. We haven't seen him yet. We haven't met him yet. Spencer and his family lives in Georgia. And it's been one thing or after another that's, you know, this past year, Joe and I have been hit with different health issues and just whatever. It seems like there's always something where a visit to Georgia isn't practical. But um, we, we hope to get up there this year because they are expecting a second son in March. So at any rate, um, yeah, it's killing me because I'm missing it. You know, I'm, I'm missing, I'm not only missing Max and, and I'm missing watching him grow up and just everything else, but I'm, I'm missing watching my son be a father. And, um, that's, what's killing me. You know, I, I look forward to being able to watch Spencer, um, be with his son and, and just see how he is with him, how he plays with him and teaches him and, you know, all of that. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm missing it. I'm missing Spencer be a father and I don't, I don't want to miss it too much longer. <laughs> so anyway, see how those foxes look so sweet sitting there with, um, you know, how one of them, how they're facing each other. Is that adorable? That is adorable. I have to make a card with foxes um, sitting like that. I have to make a Valentine card um, like that. That's not how I leave them for this particular layout, but they're just so sweet. Anyway, um, yeah, so I, I cut one out of black and one out of red, one out of red cardstock. So I finally go with this chip chipboard piece, large chipboard piece that says, I love you from the Hello Love um, collection and I and I knew I wouldn't use that particular sentiment in a in an out um, layout you know for Joe or something because that I love you just seems a little bit more juvenile <clears throat> so I thought it was perfect for this picture of this this little boy and that sticker I don't know if you can see it but it says seriously cute on it and that also was perfect because this picture is seriously cute. So I'm trying to figure out my different um, clusters. I took another arrow, chipboard arrow, from the chipboard um, pieces that go to the collection. So I knew I wanted to use that because I think that doodled arrow matches the... It looks like a doodled I love you up there. And it also matches the um, striped paper that I had doodled out. So it just kind of ties it all in together. So that the fox um, needed to sit on the little arrow. And I didn't want him to be part of a separate cluster. So I did make him kind of layered on top of one of the photo mats. So that it looked like it was part of the all the same, <clears throat> same um, you know 
the photo cluster or whatever. And then I decided to layer the black one underneath there and his tail sits slightly off the page and I'll trim that off. But um, I just thought the black the black fox balanced the I love you really nicely over there um, near the um, seriously cute sticker and these little hearts are hearts that I've cut from a couple different heart punches they're more like folk art kind of um, you know uneven hearts and um, no, I forget what you call them uh, primitive hearts you know anyway uh, out of black cardstock and red cardstock and rather than using sequins, I decided to use um, the black hearts with the red fox and the red hearts with the black fox. And I just, I like the effect that it gave. And here I'm trying to find other stickers and I, I put together another tiny little cluster down here at the bottom, <clears throat> bottom left with a couple other little um, stickers. The XO is like a gold glittered and another black doodle sticker heart and the arrow and I just wanted something a little something over there I put another black heart cardstock heart there and now I'm using my water pen and the candied apple distress ink from Tim Holtz and, and I'm just coloring in over here as you can see that paper I'm holding with all the hearts that's where I practiced my doodle hearts with that um, um, India ink pen that I was showing you so I want to make a whole paper out of that and then color them in anyway um, so I'm using the candied apple red ink to watercolor around kind of make that reddish shadow and now I'm using the cracked pistachio it's like a mint color <clears throat> and I'm continuing the shadow look around the chipboard piece and I'm going to use it around some of the layers of my photo and um, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video but in person it looks really cute because um, it gives that minty and reddish um, shadow and now I'm using my gold Heidi color shine um, and I'm going to give some gold sprinkles throughout my layout and it just looks really sweet and as soon as I figure out how to post photos with my videos um, I'll be able to share them as well but I'm still figuring that out so um, thank you so much for watching I appreciate it